This is Thailand's answer to the spicy meatball. Mm. Full of fresh herbs, crispy on the outside, this thing is jam-packed with flavour. This is my version of Thai crispy lab meatballs. So in Thailand, this dish is known as lab mu tart, and it is uh, that you know beautiful lab salad, Thai salad, which you might know, um, but in crispy meatball form. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, let's get going on the thing that I think um, gives you um, that characteristic lab flavor, and that is toasted rice. So you want to start off with, um, this is sticky rice or, or glutinous rice. You can find it in an Asian grocer or buy it online. And we're going to toast this in a dry frying pan. And you want to wait till this gets really nut brown. So this ingredient is what gives a lab salad its kind of nuttiness uh, and also a little bit of sort of crunchy texture as well. Now you'll know this is kind of ready when you sort of get, it's almost like a popcorn kind of smell and your rice grains will be really toasty and sort of golden. So these look good to me. And just toss those into your mortar and you want to grind that to a fine powder. Now if you love to make Thai lav salads, you can actually make a big batch of this and keep it in an airtight container for like up to four weeks. Uh, and you can sprinkle it on even normal salads as well for a bit of kind of nutty crunch. Okay, so let's put that aside for a minute and let's get on to the rest of the dressing slash dipping sauce slash seasoning sauce. You'll see what I mean. It's a bit of an all-purpose one for this recipe. Um, but you want to start out with some palm sugar. Now, palm sugar can come in a few different forms. It can come in a block form. Um, this, this kind of form, which is a bit softer in the tub, is, is quite good because you don't have to shave the palm sugar off with a knife. So um, it's quite a good one if you can find it. Now, if you can't get palm sugar, just a mix of brown sugar and white sugar is totally cool as well. And to that, you want to add some fish sauce, some lime juice, some chili powder, and like so traditionally, a lab style salad uh, or lab anything is very spicy. <laughs> so I'm going in with quite a lot of chili powder here. Dial it back if you would like, but um, the original version is like fire. And now you want to go in with about half of the toasted rice that you've made. So just give that a stir. You might need to just kind of smoosh down on that palm sugar a little bit just to get it dissolving. Oh, mm, that is so perfect. What you're looking for is like, like you really should get like a tangy kind of, oh, like when you try the dressing, that means that you've got a good lab dressing on your hands and it should really, you know, be creating that kind of like fire situation in your mouth. So all of those things, great. Let's get on to the meatball part. Now you just need some pork mince. I prefer pork mince um, over a chicken just because uh, the pork mince has a little bit more fat which keeps it a little bit juicier but you could totally use chicken or turkey or even beef here if you wanted to. And to that you want to add some finely chopped shallots. The other thing that's going to give our meatball that lab flavour is the fresh herbs. Lab salad is all about that like hit, not just of the spicy but of like the pungent uh, mint and coriander and spring onion. So get yourself some spring onion, some coriander. And look, if you don't like coriander, you can actually leave it out. The most important herb for me in a lab salad is the mint. Absolutely can't do without that. That's kind of like the characteristic herb flavor. Just pick off lots of leaves. I love this smell. The second I start to you know, smell the mint and the, and the chili sauce and the toasted rice, it immediately says to me, lab, you know, I can remember my mom making this salad when I was little. Always that smell kind of gets me. Um, okay, in a good way. <laughs> uh, all right, a really fine slice here. Now put that in with your pork. And now back to our spicy sauce we made earlier. I'm gonna put like most of it in here. I'd say about three quarters of the mixture. And this is gonna give us that really beautiful, spicy, tangy flavor in the meatball. And then the remainder quarter, I'm just gonna save for a bit of a dipping sauce at the end. And then the rest of that toasted rice, so we only used half at the beginning. I'm gonna use the rest in here now. 
And now just give that a mix. I always find a fork will only take you so far, so get in there with your hands. And then you kind of want to like almost, it's almost like you're like kneading that mixture together. And you'll feel it'll sort of all start to come together into more of a firm kind of ball as you go. So now we can get these meatballs crisping up in that hot oil. So to test if your oil is hot enough, just grab a wooden spoon and what you're looking for is some nice like furious little bubbles in there. And then you can totally like roll these out, put them on a tray and then pop them in the oil. But I'm just gonna like go like Danger Mouse style and just roll and drop. <laughs> Nice kind of loose meatball here, like don't go too compact because I don't want a really like hard kind of um, hockey puck kind of situation. I just want a nice loose formed meatball and in we go. Okay. Now these don't take long at all, like literally like a minute or so and when you can see that really deep dark brown colour just like that. Oh, that sizzle gets me every time. Um, just drain them on some paper towel. And I just love how you can see like, you know, lots of that fresh herb in there, you know, the speckles of chili and the little speckles of the, the toasty rice. Ah, oh, now that is a very special meatball. Now, if you're serving these for a party, um, because they cook so quickly, you can have the mix made up, the meatballs made up, and just literally fry um, and serve. So, um, I'm gonna pop these out onto a plate, and I like to serve with some extra mint here, some of that sauce that we saved from earlier. And then do you know what's nice here is a little bit of kind of like cooling crunch. So, I like to add some cucumber as well. And that should cool down any fiery taste buds. Now, party appetizer or with steamed rice as part of like a Thai dinner, all of that is totally cool. Uh, but the best thing about it is when you get to taste it. So <laughs> grab a little meatball. I want lots of that sauce. Oh, yes, the smell, guys. I wish you were here with me. Oh. Mm. That is such a huge explosion of flavor. Like the spice, ah, oh, all the fresh herbs, that tangy sauce, it just kind of like hits you right in the mouth. Oh, beautiful. And then if you have a look inside, like this meatball is so pretty on the inside. Um, you know, the fresh herbs, little speckles of chili. Mm. I just double dipped, oh no. <laughs> That's probably really bad at the time of COVID, but. Don't double dip at home, be safe. Mm. Yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.